Tune in Ash That's Nash <laughs> Pages of rhymes in this motherfucker. Yeah. All right. It's, it's, it's definitely going to get, you just had total slaughter. You know what I mean? Like, that's huge for hip hop. You know what I mean? That's huge. Like, you got a uh, battle rap. You got a lot of people that really didn't watch battle rap. And then now watching, they, they put that eye on battle rap. So, like, giving a lot of these, um, MCs that's just up and coming is giving them the opportunity to showcase their skills. So like, I, all I see is going up. Like even with the saturation, you still gonna have people striving. You you still gonna have a lot of um, a lot of artists standing out above other artists, and it's gonna give them that opportunity to, to make money. Like some people they get the opportunity to make money. People are paying their bills with battle rap. You got some MCs out there that they getting paid five hundred to two bands just for a battle. Like for for a lot of cats like me, you know what I'm saying? Two bands is. Yo, that's that's rent. That's mortgage. And 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 then to get paid off of your your skills is a plus. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Shout out to CPBL. What up? Definitely. J Legs Eclipse. You know what I'm saying? What up? First and foremost, shout out to the Bull Dutch man. Shout out to the Bull Dutch. He came out there like a lot of people understand the whole the whole logic behind the battle right? But it was, it was kind of like um we was fucking around. I really wasn't planning on battling. Like, um, I was like just trying to help Jay Legs, you know what I'm saying? Get get a bigger crowd out there. I was like, yo, look, if I do this battle, put my name on a card, da da da. A lot of motherfuckers gonna come out there just to fuck with us. I originally was gonna do a um, a promo battle, and Frankie Lou was starting a league out in Gastonia. So I was like, look, bro, like if you do something, I come out there and do a promo for you, to get a buzz out for your league. So like, Jay Legs called me back. He was like, yo, Kane, I got like, yo, would you do me a solid? I got uh, MC that's trying to battle. I said, "Who? Yo, give me a name. Who, 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 what are they trying to do?" He was like, um, "He was like Dutch Holiday." I was like, "Or oh, the boy from BGV." He was like, "Yeah, yeah." I was like, "All right, so um, let me think about it." I sat there for like a minute. Like J Legs, he he came like whenever I called him to get on the card, yo, he was there. Yo, love is love. I do the promo for him real quick. So like I like set it up, whatever you want to do. So like that's how that came along. But the battle itself, it was crazy, man. I say, it's crazy. I see what y'all go through. It's changed from where you just freestyling about everything on the block. And normally you see me in the background, you know what I mean? Do, doing, doing my league. Like, I be in the background. I really don't be, like, moving and all that shit. But, like, I, I get it in. Like I said, like, we had a good battle, man. The first two rounds, Dutch came out there doing his thing. Like I said, like, he only had two weeks to write. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's why I shout out to the bull, man. Like, he only had two weeks to write. His original opponent didn't, uh, didn't come through. So, like, I just, I got tossed in I got I got tossed in there like real fast and like so we had like two weeks to write, but you gonna like it when the footage come out you gonna see what we do. But like I said, everybody know like for those that don't know, like I said, I'm an MC first. Like SRL is my brand. So like one thing one thing I like when, when I first started the league, right? A lot of people they kept saying like Yo Kane Kane, why don't you want half like like get a get a five man front for the SRL? That's cool, you know what I'm saying? That's cool and all that. But a lot of people don't understand the politics behind battle rap. Like, I live off of certain core values, principles, and discipline and all that, and dedication. And then when you co-sign somebody, like, you co-sign everything they do. You know what I mean? So, like, it, and, and a lot of people don't see it the way I do. Like, if I say I say I got five, like, I'm like, yo, trade, Barry Bands, Jenga, Artillery, Face. I'm like, all right, that's my five front line, right? And then they get booked to another league, and one or two of them don't show up. They're not saying... Face and Barry Bands didn't show up. They saying them SRL niggas didn't show up. You see what I'm saying? So like, like it's a reflection off of me in the league. So I was like, you know what? Let's just be a platform, give everybody the opportunity to battle on this platform. Cause we, you gotta look at it like this in Virginia. Like, we were the first original platform that was doing multiple camera. Angles. Like, there was no other league in, in Virginia that was doing multiple camera angles. You know what I mean? Like, we started two, three, four different angles. Shout out to the leagues that's doing it now. You know what I mean? Because it's good to see other leagues. Like building on the hip hop, I just want the MCs to come out there, get some good quality footage to promote themselves, build their brand. That's one thing people understand with SR, like it reflects me. So at this end of the day, like I want to make sure, like we putting out good quality material, good content. Like four or five people that that help run the league with me. You know what I'm saying? The, the social media part. We talk every week. We talk. We sit down. We talk. You know what I'm saying? We on a phone conference call. But like, look. That's why if you ever notice when they have dramatic shit going on on the internet, we never get involved with it. because a, as a business owner. You can't complain with your customers. The fans are your customers. The moment you complain with your customers, you're losing. You can't complain with the MC. I don't care if the MC is completely wrong. You know what I mean? 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna address it. I'm just gonna let it let it let it go. Cause other people see when shit is shit and they're gonna address it for you. You don't gotta address shit, you know what I'm saying? They hate us because they hate us. Could take everything we got and can't break us. I think they hate us because they ain't us. Y'all copy a lot and we created us. I think they hate us because they ain't us.